Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to City Skylands 2. My gosh, this game is sometimes really beautiful and in that case with beautiful I mean of course with the sun coming up right now somewhere over here and in that case it just leads to such a nice lighting effect. I love it really and how dynamic it all looks as well. Just fabulous, especially of course since it's autumn and in autumn everything is just looking amazing, isn't it? Absolutely, it's autumn right now and we continue onwards right over here there is the new district already forming right so we've kind of like placed a lot of roads right this whole mini island that we have here is now growing um and of course we need to continue as well with a few more expansions into this area because right now there's some public transportation and we definitely want to connect both city districts here speaking about districts first of all let's create a new district this is a new district and we're probably going to have it then just along the the yeah the river here all the way to the other side definitely not taking in the industry zone right but just then along the river here again as well as this new district we will definitely need some policies for this one too so nice district we have and this is the manor glade probably going to be pretty packed with very tall skyscraper buildings and whatnot for public transportation, we are actually starting with something unusual. Manor Glade should, of course, also receive a train station. So we have then a train station for Manor Glade, and we do have a train station more or less for uh, Midi, or what is it actually now? I can't see it. The symbol is so gross. Meadow End that we have over here. There is a train station, um, and we probably should also add a train station for the higher density zone. We don't have one yet. So let's start with the Technical University. Unfortunately, we cannot change the size of this thing, right? It's just massive, it's huge. Um, I would like to have a smaller local station. Unfortunately, we have to live with uh, those ones here for the moment. Um, I could just place it there really and see how it goes. And it's not going so badly, definitely not. And it's just going to receive its track system then. We could say that the main system is already just passing through here, right? So instead of, hmm. Let's just delete a lot. <laughs> we need to delete those systems here. So that's the trains. I need to pause it, otherwise the, the route configuration is probably getting a bit confused there. Oh, sorry, pals. This might lead to some deadly accidents. We'll just see. And then also here, of course, because this all leads them to Clairville and Lemon Cove, the neighboring cities that we have. Uh, just down here. This just needs to look much cleaner, of course, and right now it's looking messy. There it is. There is already the underground one that we have. So I would like to connect it one then. Let's try. Let's just see that we can get as, as down as it is right now. There you go. And then we'll probably... Ooh, this will be steep. I don't think that we can actually manage to do this here. Right. Some landscaping will be in order, so we need to kind of like elevate the terrain here to the station. Not only to the station, but also of course to the surrounding area here. There you go, and then we can soften it. looking much better because now we also don't need to have any kind of bridge or anything like that. It would actually lead to a bridge, I think. Much better. Now it's actually elevated and equal to the ground. And now it should be much easier to just place some tracks along it. Now the train, we need to actually divert already way sooner. And then we have the... It's in the water, really. I mean, I've already been going down quite a bit here. So I think we need to go down even further. Yeah, uh, this should work out now. It is getting quite expensive building so far underground. And then we need to go up again, but only once, I think, because this one should already be done there. Perfect. That was easy. With that, we have the connection on that side. Now it's the other side, where once again, we're going to have a start here. And then we go underground. And three times we need to, because otherwise we can't pass through the, the rivers, right? Right. 
and this worked out just lovely as well with the connection and the connection here. And here we just now need to connect once again our different platforms. And there you go, another connection well made with our train system now here. Uh, we still need to change around now the, the train route that we have already. So let's just see how we can do this. We have the passenger railway line and we should have one right now. That's the one. And this is basically just, yeah, we're basically phew, going to delete it or we're going to edit it. Let's see, make it visible. I think we actually will need to add a stop then just here. All right, so after the train station number four and rename it main line for the moment. As long as we don't have any other one, I can name this one main line. It's six stops and it reset itself or reset it itself. But that's fine. Could be up to previous glory, former glory right away. Let's just make sure that the main lines are going through the center here, right? While the ones with the stop just le go left and right. Also, the cargo, of course, needs to pass through um, without a problem there. Now, that's one thing. The other thing is then the connection of these together with tram lines. Oh, and there it is also. Grand City it is. You're moving ahead very nicely. That was quick. Why did we upgrade so fast now? Was it perhaps because of the Technical University that gave me 3,000 experience points or something like that? Amazing! Grand City it is. Milestone-wise, we are on our way to the thriving metropolis. Really, we need to seriously work on tourism soon. We can't have a thriving metropolis without tourism, right? But for now, it's fine still. Still a bit off. Still some solitary skyscrapers here. Hopefully more things are growing around it quickly. We do, of course, also need a, yeah, an expansion to the industry zone, I think. But that is something we're doing somewhere else then as well. So far so good. The trains are moving. Um, yeah, it's also all about the tram now. Um, the tram we could have on the other side. Or we have it a bit further up here in my industry zone. I think I like this a bit more. So let's go ahead and have another tram depot in here. Yeah, just where we have the recycling. They can just work together here nicely. All right, let's upgrade this one too. And this is the tram depot that is going to supply this area here with tram lines now, basically. Now for the tram systems in this district here, I would like to um, get started with a nice line that goes just basically from one end to the other. And that's this one here. So let's just go ahead and create the line. And then it just follows the yeah, main road here, kind of like. All the way down. Beside the Technical University. Crossing the station. And then going into a yeah, residential zone on the other side again. right? So from the north to the south in just one giant straight line. to this point. And the second one is a bit more complicated. I would like to connect this district, this district with the southern district. For that, um, we already created the stations here now, going over here the bridge to the other district down. And here, once again, we also will need to create then a, well, an exit point just for this one that also then goes underground. We could also make it below the ground. That wouldn't be so bad, I think. I think that would be actually easier. I'm going to try both. Nah, the slope will also be too big. Ah, it will actually work just by a whisker. If I go the same thing below, it will not work, right? So taking a bridge here is actually better. And I think one, yeah, one layer would be just fine, right? And yeah, you can actually move it over. So I think we're going with a bridge. It also looks nice. And then it goes down again. And then it basically goes through. Hmm, here's the question. Yeah. Here it connects and actually with that road. And here we'll need to make an upgrade. There you go. To connect both of them together again. And here I think we should still have probably station here just in case there are some people. Now let's create the line. So this is actually a bit more complicated. We start over here. Go then to that side. Through the center, over the bridge. Through the other main district to the other side and here making the connection over there so it is coming together with the technical university and the other tram line and then once again all its way back home
There you go. And with that, we have created now all the districts here coming together with one tram line. We could still create also a smaller bus line with a shelter that goes through the narrow streets that we have everywhere here, right? So probably would like to do this too, but let's just let's just let it grow for now. And I still, of course, also would like to connect both sides there, not only with train and street, but also with the tram network. So let's go ahead and just have a look here. There is the one of the big tram lines coming together, right? And we just can then create a an upgrade here along this track here. So we probably will leave lead to yeah to this industry zone there or commercial zone, or we make the connection. Hmm. Where should we make the connection? I think here will be actually the best option. You know what? Let's actually connect the town hall with the other city district, right? So we just need to make the tram line all the way around the town hall here. And then connect it and probably have a special tram network just to the other side. To this road here. Oh, this will be complicated to make, but I think it will be the best result. And then we have it over here. There's already the tracks connecting with one of the other main tracks using the same tunnel and then actually along this one this one and yeah creating then a bridge to the other side a tram bridge that's starting here or just down once more yeah let's go down once more and then actually we can create this bridge ah, and it's nighttime it's of course harder but yeah there we can actually create a tram bridge I wonder if we can also then ornament this one. Okay, so I think I figured it out. Let's start here by the town hall in the center. Then actually there is a tunnel that goes to the other side here where there is immediately another station right here in the city center. And then we're going to use the stations of the existing um, line already that we have, right? Connecting it here on the ground again. And then here take a steep turn to this side taking this station here and then a bit further away we're going with a bridge because I don't want to have the bridge too close here to the um, island merging that we have over there and then on the other side once again we're creating some new stations and also using some old ones to connect those tram lines so this is a connection and then we go into the new system through the new district here that we haven't utilized yet connecting it with the final station with one of the final stations of the other trains and then we take the whole thing back again. And at the end of the day, well, we should have some more happy citizens because of that. And then back again here. Poof, it was successful. We created a new line. This is quite the longest one so far and also the most complicated one so far. Going on the ground a few times, and then we also have this new bridge here that hopefully we can replace with one of the better ones. So speaking about the better ones, we can replace those bridges. Like here we have one, right? And it's a rather basic bridge for the moment. We have unlocked some bridges already and there's more to come, right? But in that case here, we can then use one of the new m models here. There's even the Golden Gate Bridge. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is a bit too small for, for the Golden Gate Bridge. We're probably going to use it then somewhere else, right? But for this area here, it's just perfect. And I think we could then just squeeze it in like that. And with that, have a new uh, major bridge then right here in the, in the center of Sleepy Hollow. Looks quite okay. Here, we still need to make those some adjustments. So this is, as far as I know, a bigger road. Or is that just... I think that is just by default. Yeah just by default coming together at the end of it getting a bit bigger that's it because there is some incline here and this is actually leading to a narrower road than the one that we have i'm not super happy with how it looks though but it's the same type of road i could make a roadblock this could work nah it's still the same result at the end of it, right? A seven lane asymmetrical road also doesn't change anything. So that's pretty much it. This bridge is just bigger than the, the normal streets around it. And what we can also see immediately is we're, we've been cut off from the water supply. That's because this bridge, strangely enough, does not support water pipes, right? The normal bridge does, but once we upgrade it, we lose that connection. 
that's a bit strange to say the least but we can of course restore connection um in that case though not with the double one that we already have and also strangely enough it does not snap to the already existing one that we have here right so that is not working out we probably will need to go a bit higher but even if we raise the elevation it doesn't change anything so unfortunately we will need to create a think a new pipe system because we cannot make that doesn't matter what kind of elevation i'm going with seems like we cannot make that connection here that's a shame really if i go like if i go like this can we make it this way we can make it and still use the bridge i think do we get the water now yes we got it back right electricity wise it's the same thing this one does not actually does carry electricity then there shouldn't be a problem oh just in general we do lack electricity now it's not a matter of transportation it's actually that we are not producing almost enough anymore for the whole city interesting we are going to need some more electricity and since I'm a sucker for it, let's actually unlock the nuclear power plant, which is going to jump over the coal. I'm, I'm not even considering using this. I don't know why coal is actually in front of or after gas, right? Coal to me is a basic electricity facility and gas is a bit more advanced than with nuclear power being the most advanced one. Um, and then, of course, we have the renewables down here with the battery station first. And then this leads to the geothermal power plant, the hydroelectric power plant and the solar power plant. We're going to unlock all of these eventually. For now, let's still stay a bit with the, the dirty industries and nuclear power, of course, belongs to that. And there we have it. 5 million, it costs me a th thermal power plant that uses nuclear fission. It produces 750 megawatt of power. So this is going to last us for a while. Um, and yeah, we can have this massive monster somewhere here in the industry zone just fine. Or we have it on the other side as well with its own special entrance. I think I would like to do this because over here I was already planning a new industry zone anyway, right? So at the end of the whole thing here... Basically, in this area, we could have a new massive industry zone. So let's purchase these tiles. Um, definitely required. Um, we are going to have more city space then, right? But also more industry zone. And we can have this basically here at the very end of the of a Sleepy Hollow for now. Um, it is causing a lot of ground pollution. So I just want to make sure that whatever we place here um, is actually staying as far away as possible. Of course, the commute is a bit longer then, right? But it's fine. It worked with this one here too. So we have a bit of a commuting there and all the way here we do have a new industry zone popping up. This one is just going to one area, right? So I'm probably not going to make a bigger intersection this time around, but just the one way. And a trumpet inter intersection would be one of them. The trumpet roundabout. And I would really like to go with just one direction. I think we're going with the with this one here. This is looking nice. So there we have it in all its glory. Uh, this one is then also coming together probably here into a massive four lane highway. So hopefully we can kind of like just make the connection here, right? And they're both then coming together. Let's not snap for the moment. Nah. I think we need to actually move it a bit further down still. Coming together and then of course also coming into a big roundabout that we can have here at the end of it where the new industry zone then is starting and this one basically has now a six lane road once again we're going to see some massive traffic here most likely so i'm going to try and make the exits here i don't think that we're going to use this area too much we'll just see And then we're just moving all the way down to this area to the to the ocean here and the ocean of course plays a vital role then for my nuclear power because nuclear power should be close to water it doesn't make sense for us to have it too far outside we're going to make a nice smaller road then out here so the nuclear power plant gets its own junction that we will then just have here along the along the ocean and then we have this power plant oh i was Phew, it's huge it is bigger than i thought for a second there now we will need oh my goodness we are going to need this area here too 
right? And just along this road here, then I want to have this power plant. So let's just make sure that we snap it again, please. Can this work? Can I have it along it? Oh, come on. Overlapping items? Is there something overlapping with it? Do we have, once again, a tourist attraction here somewhere? Hmm, I don't see anything, though. Oh yes, it's quite hidden. There it is. There is an old mill ruin. Just in here. I mean, that's fitting, right? <laughs> it also uses a turbine, kind of like. Uh, Alright. That's a shame. It's really just blockading my whole construction here. Mm, we could have it like that. This would work. There you go. And there we have our nuclear power plant. Uh, we're going to need some... Terrain manipulation again. And this, of course, is going to produce massive amounts of energy for quite some time. I'm not expecting tsunamis, so we are not going to make some... I mean, it would be amazing if we could have that. Some tsunami fighting systems here. Blockades, barricades. And there it is, right? It doesn't have any modules attached to it. So this is it. I was hoping for some modules here for some cool ones, but that's it. Um, it is costing me quite a bit, of course. Money-wise is not the problem at all. And it will produce me quite a bit of electricity from now on on. And then, of course, we have this old mill over here that, yeah, I usually I would not like to do this, but this time around we're doing it. So we're going to have this old mill then somewhere here by the by the ocean really still in the forest i think because it needs to be there but still a bit further away from this juggernaut and here yeah well here we can now have of course more industry um once again we have the six lane here that leads then up oh this is not good something like that and here we have the six lane then we kind of like can make this connection then here coming together And this one then along the highway, most likely. And we're probably going to make then a city connection here outside of the highway as well, right? So that the industry can be connected with the city as well. And yeah, this is all now basically a big industry zone. Let's actually lower the, the road and... Yeah, once again, create us a bit of a grid here. On that side, we can do the same thing here. Perfect. And then add yeah, this one a bit small in here. This one will not work. Could work like that. Probably another one somewhere here. That's too close to the roundabout. There will be a special exit though as well, right? That should be fine. There's not, there's never been that much traffic yet, right? So it, it should be fine. And then we're going, nah, this is not good. Uh, here we're going to make a smaller one on the roundabout. It goes down here. That's a bit better now. This should be nice. This is a nice industry zone. Um, it probably will need its own little fire protection somewhere down the road. The fire services are calling. And it definitely will also need some police force over here. Usually you do get a lot of criminality 
close to these centers here. That's it. Uh, there is also the ability to have a prison then somewhere here. This is a high security area already. Might as well just add that prison uh, area then as well. Lots of industry demand. So let's go ahead and get cracking on this. We can start with this whole area. So they will pop immediately, most likely, and then here as well. So far so good. The only uh, thing that we still need is with the road connection, we also will need the pipes over there, of course. So that is something that we make here, probably. That should work out. Does that work? The strange thing is I cannot get it to the same level as the existing one. It still makes its connection, right? So that's something. So this should actually fade away now. Yeah, and of course, what the nuclear power plant will also need is lots of water. Our water consumption skyrocketed to 1.2 million cubic meters per month, which is not a big deal. We do have some new tech in this area too. And that is the advanced water pumping station. I would like to go ahead with this. And there we have it. And this is then having 1 million output of cubic meters per month. Uh, we just need a proper location. Um, we can have it along the ocean, of course. And yeah, I would actually like to have it close to the nuclear power plant. So this is the pumping station that we have for it. There's lots of water over here. So this just should lead then to the right amount of water. Um, and let's make that connection. Once again, we need to find the right level. This is too finicky in my opinion. Or I'm just extremely stupid right now. There you go. It just doesn't snap to it, right? Make the connection up here. And then it also still needs a road connection. We are going to make a tiny road here. It goes up to the main road. This is looking like crap. Shouldn't look, not look like that. much better. Having a, a, our own little water station then right over here, providing the water for the nuclear power plant. This is fine. Water is fine now again. Sewage treatment though still needs to be handled and with that we can once again go with the waste boat but the treatment plant also something we can actually just have here by the nuclear power plant. In my opinion this just fits together very well and with that we can then also go ahead with uh, those blocks in addition plus an advanced filtering system. Right, so these kind of like belong to that system there, in my opinion. Um, this is not enough though, all right? We need a bit more because the nuclear power plant is really producing a lot of waste water. after a while this is now working out i think this makes a lot of sense that they're together right and i mean i don't even see any water facilities in the nuclear power plant itself so we should definitely have them a bit closer to it and also then our new pumping station here taking water directly from the rivers coming out here and then pumping it most likely into the <laughs> nuclear power plant hopefully it's not salt water that would be bad for business Last but not least, we of course also need to um, connect this new district with power lines. There we have them now. This is the central power line that also goes to the city itself, to this new district here, and then also here coming together at the nuclear power plant. With the main network, we hopefully should also then be able to once again sell some electricity. We're doing this right now, um, and we have electricity available again. Bear in mind though, this nuclear power plant, before it works full speed, it we do need uh, some 134 um, well-educated and educated personnel right and then it also needs a water a lot of water intake before it can start fully producing it already produces 75 megawatt with um, an efficiency of 10 percent that's without employees and once they come in of course this will then skyrocket
Meanwhile, this district is also coming along. It's not looking up to par yet. Uh, Central Park is missing, of course, and more plots, but at least more buildings than before. Also, some ones that I have, that have, haven't seen yet, so in the commercial zone then especially. And I just love that in the distance, we can then always see that ominous nuclear power plant that is now powering Sleepy Hollow and also the world with our surplus electricity production. I hope you enjoyed this one. Onwards, stay tuned.